In 1974, the Chinese Wushu delegation made its first visit to the U.S., fostering the cultural exchanges between the two people and marking a significant event in martial art diplomacy. Fifty years later, coinciding with the 13th Zhengzhou International Shaolin Wushu Festival, representatives of the martial arts community and members of the China U.S. East Wushu Training Camp gathered in Zhengzhou to jointly reflect on the stories behind their history. I'm Bruce Fisher. I'm 42. I'm from Virginia Beach, Virginia. I'm Muhammad Ullah. I'm 30. I'm from、uh, the state of Texas. I'm Gigi Davis. I'm 19, and I'm from Fremont, California. I've been studying Zhao Ga Kung Fu for five years. Studying the martial arts since I was 16.、Uh, I've been studying Wushu since the, since the year 2014. So this marks my 10 year anniversary.、Uh, I've been doing Shaolin Kung Fu for 10 years, and I've been doing contemporary Wushu since 2021. I think martial arts brings me opportunities not only to do The most obvious things like compete, train, perform, but to connect with people from different backgrounds, including from different countries. We, the Chinese Wushu Club, from the United States, had a very big impact. Also, the Chinese Wushu Club provided a opportunity for the Chinese Wushu Club to share their knowledge. I hope we can use this Chinese Wushu Club training to foster the new generation. 能够把新一代的这个武术人才培养出来啊，一个国际性的武术领人才、武秀领袖人才，能够进一步推动中美的武术文化交流。现在就很小，小到三岁以上，那都开始了，然后大到八十多岁、九十岁还在练呢，哎，各个年龄阶层都接受的。Over these 50 years, inheritors of Chinese wushu have spread globally like bamboo shoots after rain, with wushu now carrying its own mission. <laughs>